Thank you for joining me again for another reading from the book That I May Know Him, a daily devotional. Today's reading is entitled Light for Those Who Love Light, July 30th. Light is sown for the righteous and gladness for the upright in heart. Psalm 97 verse 11. Christ has left his Holy Spirit to be his representative in the world to give celestial aid to every hungering, thirsting soul. We are living in a most solemn period of this world's history, but light is shining for those who will walk in the light. There are many who have not had the light and they are not judged guilty. They mourn because of their human ignorance. They find nothing satisfactory and thirst for a knowledge of the only true God. They have an ideal of God in their minds and they desire to find him. He has entrusted light to his people to give to all those who are praying for light. He has sent forth his streams of salvation to refresh those who are athirst for a knowledge of truth, virtue, and holiness. To such we should speak as did the Apostle Paul to the Athenians, whom therefore ye ignorantly worship, him declare I unto you. Acts 17.23 Heavenly inspiration has come to men, and they have been entrusted with gospel truth, and have thereby been weighed with a solemn responsibility to devote their God-given powers to making God known to man. Christ says, And this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom thou hast sent. John 17, 3 Those who have the mind of Christ will walk even as he walked. They will live out the law of God, will feed upon Christ, be partakers of the divine nature, and stand as living sentinels for truth. In integrity of heart, they will voice the cry, Come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you, and will be a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters. Second Corinthians 6, verses 17 and 18 God gives light to those who love light. He imparts truth to those who search for truth as for something of most precious value in order that they may impart light to those who are in the valley and the shadow of death. Thank you for listening today. Be sure to join me tomorrow for another reading from the book that I may know him. Be encouraged.